Hi and welcome to CPR First Aid. Just a few things I need to get you more aware of is that these courses are designed so that you're doing the theory before you come to the class. So all of the modules, you're either doing three modules or ten modules, and you're doing that before the class. So you can learn at your own pace. So you can go as fast as you want, as slow as you want, but please don't skip through the videos because the videos have information that has relevant questions that you need to answer, such as head tilts or volume of breath or anything like that. One of the issues that we have had is that other people, unfortunately, some people tend to get someone else to do the theory for them. And then they turn up to the class and have no idea what's going on. We have a zero tolerance for cheating, so it's best that the person who's enrolled into this course is the person that attends. Um, we have checks in place so that the first thing that people do when they come to a class is they have to do an assessment, so it's either five or ten questions. And those questions are relating directly to the online learning modules that have been completed. And if people are unable to get 100% for those five or 10 questions, which are really easy if you've actually done the theory online, then you'll get through no problems. If you are having problems, we'll get you, give you the second chance to do it. And unfortunately, if you cannot get through with those two chances, we'll give you a reassessment on different questions. And if you don't pass them, we'll be asking you to leave and rebook into another class. We do help people who need help, but we have a zero tolerance for people who don't help themselves. So, that's a bit of an issue and apologies because we do that to make sure that the trainers are there for the people who have done the right thing and who have done all the learning. So that's a way that we can sort of get around that. The other thing too is that if you're refreshing your first aid and you've done first aid a few times, it's gonna be really easy to get through the theory. And if you've never done first aid before, then you can take as long as you want and not be rushed through like other courses where you're sitting in a class where everybody knows what's going on, but you don't. So that's the whole purpose of the online modules. The benefit of doing theory in your own time is that when you come to the practical session, it is hands-on practical. So we have the competencies and the compliance things that have to be signed off for the day, and that will be you doing breath compressions, head tilts, emergency procedures. Just make sure you're on time. Again, if you're one minute late, it's not fair. It is an express class. It is a class where you're told to be there 15 minutes before the actual start time to complete the enrollment processes, to do the assessments, and to hand in your scenario reports. So these are the things that unfortunately make it a bit stiff, but the practical class is so fun. We've just finished a class now, and it's good to just sort of either refresh or learn new skills, but getting your hands on the mannequins, you know, the adult child infant and the EpiPens and whatever course you're doing is really good fun. So remember, do the theory, do the prac, do the theory, think about it at home, come to the class, and then we send your qualifications. If it's a business hours, you get your qualifications 7 p.m. that night, and if it's out of business hours, then you'll get it the following day. It's around the 7, 7 10 p.m. Um, CPR First Aid has been doing classes for around 13 years. We trained, I think, 73,000 courses last year, so we love doing First Aid. We love giving what people need for their workplace, but making it that sort of hands-on practical session that it needs to be. What else do I need to tell you about? Um, come to the class and have fun, learn and enjoy the trainers and enjoy the online. And we look forward to seeing you every year. Thank you.